Sierra 3001. 3001, 7 Mike Sierra. So we're flying about 50 miles uh, to the east of the Washington, D.C. TFR. And um, we noticed that there was um, a restricted area line. It's really not restricted, but you do have to be squawking a code and have mode C and ADSB. Um, you can barely see it on the map, but um, if you look closely, uh, I'll show you in this picture right here uh, what it looks like on the uh, MFD. And then uh, what it looks like in four flight. If you scroll in and you look um, southeast of the Washington DC BOR, you, you can, can see it easily uh, in the in the water areas. It's not it's not the mode C 30 miles. Um, it's out further from that um, on the chart. Restricted area 4022. I should have said 4002. If you look around that, uh, you can see the it's a blue line and it says um, DCA VOR DME 60 miles. So we called them up and made sure we were okay to go in there. Five three nine, Charlie Foxtrot, contact Potomac approach on a. Basically, he said, as uh, long as you have a squat code, you can go in. So we're good. We got the squat code. Uh, we're on our way to Raleigh Durham to see our friend Ada and spend the night with them. All right. Well, we are about 40 miles out of Raleigh Durham. We are getting ourselves set up. We just got uh, transferred to Durham Approach, and we got information Bravo, which indicated the winds were 300 at 4. When we spoke to Approach, they told us to expect 2-3 right. So we're getting everything set up. We just set up our top of descent uh, for our, our vertical nav. And we should be probably in about seven or eight minutes uh, and get to top of descent. We'll start going down and get set, set up for two, three right. Uh, we're going to Atlantic Aviation and going to go see Julie's friend. Two, three right is about, I think, 10,000 feet. We'll see if she can stop in time. Maybe. <laughs> so I turned down my altitude to... Um, to be at 1,500 feet, five miles out, it's uh, 1,935. And I remembered this time to turn down the altitude to that 1,935 so that when it says vertical nav, we can press the button on yep. the autopilot, a uh, VNAV button on the autopilot, and it will track track it down. Yeah. But you got to kind of do it in time or yesterday we didn't press it in time and so Melissa used you used uh, vertical speed right? I did. And it, you put Went in down. vertical speed down so up to 700 feet a minute. Let it uh, catch up with the uh, vertical navigation. It's a little pink V yep. on the um, altitude tape. We usually set up a 300 foot descent for the VNAV profile. If you realize that you've forgotten to press VNAV on the autopilot when you're at the top of the descent, then press it and then press vertical speed and set it to a descent rate higher than what you set up in the profile. For example, we would set it for a 700 foot per minute descent. When it catches up to the glide slope, V path will turn green in the autopilot status bar and the V-Path will be captured and activated. And it picked it up and started going following it. So once we got down to the pink V on the um, uh, vertical navigation indicator. It automatically yeah. captured. Cool. Yeah. All right, so maybe we can get it right this time. Rally approach, uh, November. Rally approach, station air 317, Mike Sierra. Inbound with information, Bravo. Station there, 317 Mike Sierra, rally approach, expect runway 23 right. 23 right, 7 Mike Sierra. So, top of descent's coming up. 
Ron Lake Approach, Station Air 317, Mike Sierra is going to begin a slow descent. Station Air 7, Mike Sierra, roger that. Maintain VFR at or above 2,200. VFR at or above 2,200, 7, Mike Sierra. So I'm going to change this from saying uh, 1,935 to 2,200. Perfect. And that's as far as it's going to go down. Yep. Vertical track. Vertical track. So I'm going to press VNAV on the autopilot. Oh. And it's showing uh, top of the set within one minute. And we have V path lit up white. That is in standby vertical path mode. Once the vertical navigation is captured, it's going to follow it down. We're starting down. Now you see V path is enunciation uh, on the scoreboard at the top is lit up in green. And the altitude uh, selected is in white. As we're on our way down, we have not gotten to 2200 yet. 